and I welcome you back to the Brennick Channel. Today we are talking about the Colorado River. We will be doing a full update. We haven't done it in a little bit. So we are going to roll right out to windy.com like we always do. And you have quite a bit of precipitation possibly coming. Uh, 1.76 over in Steamboat Springs. Glenwood Springs, 1.68. Aspirin, possibly a couple inches. Crested Butte, possibly 1.91 inches. We go down to Tell You Ride down here. And we are talking possibly 1.96. Meeker, we're talking about 1.75 inches. And look over here, like this could be possibly a good sign here. This could, especially right here, this rolls into Flaming Gorge. You could see possibly 1.68 and quite a bit over here, just in general, 1.69 possibly. And this is good, but this is a GFS. What's the European column for? Uh, pretty similar, pretty close. For those of you still wondering about California, we'll sneak in real quick. 12.73 inches they're still calling for in this GFS is it it really hasn't increased any however out here a little bit you could be getting seven or eight so we'll see which one ultimately wins out for my friends over in california hello i hope all is well we come over here you're talking about 0 0.55 inches of rain we come back to the gfs about the same so this could be possibly good news they definitely could use some more precipitation lake havasu down here 0 0.9 we go up to vegas 0 0.28 let's check out the new snow depth to the west of vegas they're still calling for 17 inches but vegas are calling for nothing obviously they're calling for nothing in lake havasu as well however over at flagstaff they're calling for 15 inches and if you're down at sholo they're talking about 14.6 we come over here you could see by aspen possibly 26 inches of new snow and this will be good if we get it because we definitely need more we go over to the gfs and not as much it's a little bit less but who knows we come down over here to montrose and they're talking about 9.8 tell you ride you could possibly get 20 inches of precipitation that would be good pagosa springs down here you're talking about 13 inches lake navajo you're talking about 2.4 farmington you're talking about 1.6 we go over to cortez 5.4 dove creek you're talking about 9.9 .9. pleasant view possibly 8.1 we come up the ridgeway up here you're talking close to 15.2 lake city you're talking about 13.9 Creed, Monticello, you're talking about 9.3. Landing, you're talking about 6.2. So we'll see what happens. Let's go up to the beginning of, up here, even the beginning of the Green River, you're talking about 16.6 possibly. We come down to Rock Springs, you're talking about 8.5. And this is what we got going on. You can see it's widespread. This could possibly be a real good snowstorm. We will see. Time will tell. We'll start out like we always do. We'll start up at the Flaming Gorge and we'll go on from there. As we roll out to the Flaming Gorge, you can see it's above where it was last year at this time so that's good we're 2025 we're looking at 6026.08 feet and that was on tuesday march 4th 2025 at 6 p.m the level is 20.92 feet below full pool of 6047 changes since yesterday the lake is down 0 0.01 feet over the last 24 hours the lake is up 0 0.24 feet over the last seven days the lake is also up 0 0.38 feet over the last 14 days the lake is up 0 0.76 feet over the last 30 days so almost a foot we continue to scoot over the last six months the lake is down 2.13 feet over the last year the lake is up 0 0.27 feet so slightly above where we were last year as seen on the graph your inflows are currently 2280 and your outflows are currently 938 let's go out to bar graph next as we roll out to the bar graph your full pool there is 6047 in 2023 we're looking at a level of 6000 in 5.75 feet last year we were looking at a level of 6025.81 feet and today we're slightly higher as seen earlier 6026.08 feet inactive pool there is 5871 feet and dead pool is a level of 5740 let's continue to roll on to percentage of capacity next as we roll out to percentage of capacity we're currently looking at 82.34 percent let's roll over to lake navajo next as we roll over to Lake Navajo, you can see that the current water level is 6,036.70 feet. And that was on Tuesday, March 4th, 2025 at 6 p.m. The level is 48.30 feet below full pool of 6,085. Changes since yesterday, the lake is down 0 0.03 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 0 0.21 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 0 0.45 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 1.0. 
0.04 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is down 8.53 feet. And over the last year, the lake is down 4.88 feet. So we definitely could use some more precipitation. That's no lie. Your inflows are currently 349 and your outflows are currently 377. A lot of the snow is still locked up currently. Let's go out to your three-year bar graph next. Your full pool level there at Lake Navajo is 6,085. In 2023, we were looking at a level of 6,017.49 feet. Last year, we were looking at a level of 641.58 feet. Today, we're looking at a level of 636.70 feet, and Deadpool there is 5,775. Let's go to percentage of capacity next. As we roll out to percentage of capacity, we're looking at a percent of 60.61%. Let's go to Blue Mesa next. As we roll out to Blue Mesa, you can see that the current water level is 7,481. Point zero three, and that was on Tuesday, March fourth, two thousand twenty-five, at six p.m. The level is thirty-seven point nine seven feet below full pool of seven thousand five hundred nineteen feet. Changes since yesterday. The lake is even over the last twenty-four hours. The lake is even there over the last fourteen days. The lake is down zero point two nine feet over the last thirty days. The lake is down zero point eight seven feet over the last six months. The lake is down nine point nine four feet, and over the last year, the lake is down seven feet. Inflows are currently seven. 772 outflows are currently 581 cfs and let's go to your three-year bar graph next as we roll to your three-year bar graph your full pool is 7519 in 2023 we're looking at a level of 7448.21 feet last year we were looking at a level of 7488.03 feet today we are looking at a level of 7481.03 feet and deadpool there is 7300 358. Let's go to percentage of capacity next. As we roll out to percentage of capacity, we are looking at a percent of 61.43%. Lake Powell is up next. As we roll out to Lake Powell, you can see that the current water level is 3,562.23 feet, and we are still above last year's level, so that's good news. And this was on Tuesday, February 4th, 2025 at 6 p.m. The level is the level is 137. 0.77 feet below full pool of 3,700. Changes since yesterday. The lake is down 0.14 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also down 1.03 feet over the last 7 days. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 2.09 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 4.19 feet. Over the last 6 months, the lake is down 14.55 feet. And over the last year, we're up slightly at 0.49 feet. Inflows are currently 4,300 63 you can see they're starting to slowly increase and outflows are still 12,063. Let's go to your three-year bar graph next. As we roll out to your three-year bar graph, we're looking at 3,700 and for your full pool, 2023, we're looking at a level of 3,520.84 feet. Last year, we were looking at a level of 3,561.74 feet, and today we're looking at a level of 3,562.23 feet. An active pool there is 3,490. Your dead pool there is 3,370 and we continue to roll on here as we go out to percentage of capacity we are looking at 32.76 percent let's roll out and see what the snowpack is currently and we're going to do that now as we roll out to your snowpack you can see that we're still third place we haven't even started to increase here we are sitting currently mm, that's not good we're sitting currently at 85.03 percent now last year we were, that's 82.7 percent of last year and over the 30 year average at 79.46 percent not very good folks we are we're sitting low we definitely could use some more your median snowpack you could see that you get quite a bit of snow here this is to be expected yet you're going to have more snow come in like last let's look at 2019 we we're looking at 115 we we're looking at 123.5 one percent and then in 2000 for march 4th we we're looking at 132 in 2023 so we're definitely need some more snow now anything can happen who knows we'll definitely be watching this there is some more snow coming but we're still below y'all so we definitely need this snow to happen and then some more after that preferably let's roll out to lake mead next 
as we roll out to Lake Mead, now here is the thing. In 2023, we were pretty low and we creeped up. Usually when March 1st gets here, they really start to cut back water levels. They started to, but they have spiked slightly. As you can see, usually it peaks out right about here. So you can even see that there. They, they peaked out probably here and then went down slightly and then started increasing from all that record snowfall in 2023 as we were just looking at. But now look at this, like we're right at the peak it's going to be happening any day they're going to start releasing water now the reservoir is increasing but last year at this point in time we were much higher so we got to keep that in mind we'll be looking at that here in a minute your current water level is 1068.71 feet and that was on tuesday march 4th 2025 at 6 p.m the level is 150.89 feet below full pool of 1219.60 feet changes since yesterday the lake is up 0 0.05 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also up 0.24 feet over the last 7 days. The lake is up 0.44 feet over the last 14 days. The lake is up 2.12 feet over the last 30 days. The lake is up 5.26 feet over the last 6 months. However, the lake is down 7.89 feet from a year ago. Inflows are currently 12,941 and your outflows are 12,200. Let's go to your 3 year bar graph next. As we roll out to your 3 year bar graph, as we roll out the Lake Mead's water level, full pool level there is 1,219.60 feet. In 2023, we we're looking at a level of 1,046.89 feet. Last year, we were looking at a level of 1,076.60 feet, and today we're lower at 1,068.71 feet. Inactive pool there is 950. Dead pool there is 895, and we go out to percentage of capacity next. As we roll out to percentage of capacity, we're looking at 35%. That's it. So it is what it is, and that's what we got. Let's roll down to Lake Mojave next. As we roll out to Lake Mojave, you can see it's much lower this year as compared to the last two years. In 2023, we're much higher. It always fluctuates, but we're down quite a bit. Our current water level is 641.33 feet, and that was on Tuesday, March 4th, 2025. At 6 p.m., the level is 5.67 feet below full pool of 647 changes since yesterday the lake is down 0 0.04 feet over the last 24 hours the lake is down 0 0.01 feet over the last seven days over the last 14 days the lake is down 0 0.45 feet over the last 30 days the lake is down 0 0.47 feet over the last six months the lake is down 0 0.95 feet and over the last year the lake is down 0 0.52 feet all down across the board things to come makes you wonder doesn't it inflows are currently 15,000 and 400 and your outflows are currently 10,200 so maybe the lake will start to rise after this go around we will see let's go out to three year bar graph next as we roll out to your three year bar graph your full pool level is 647 2023 we're looking at a level of 642.96 feet last year we were looking at a level of 641.85 feet and today we're looking at the level of 641.33 feet deadpool there is always 530 33 percentage of capacity next as we roll out to percentage of capacity we're looking at 92.08 percent over to lake havasu for our final stop today as we roll out to lake havasu our current water level is 447.90 feet and that was on tuesday february 4th 2025 at 6 p.m the level is 2.10 feet below full pool of 450 changes since yesterday the lake is even over the last seven days the lake is up 1.62 feet over the last 14 days the lake is up 1.62 feet over the last 30 days the lake is up 1.24 feet over the last six months the lake is down 0 0.13 feet over the last year the lake is up 1.53 feet your inflows are currently 11,900 and your outflows are currently 9,420 three-year bar graph is next as we roll out to your three-year bar graph you can see that your full pool level is 450 feet 2023 we're looking at a level of 400 448.01 feet last year we were looking at a level of 446.37 feet in 2025 we were looking at a level of 447.90 feet inactive pool there is 440 feet and dead pool there is 
400 feet even and we go out to percentage of capacity as we roll out to percentage of capacity we are looking at a level of 92.22 percent and thank you guys i hope all is well with everybody in havasu and all across the world and everybody that tunes in every day you guys are much appreciated i appreciate you guys immensely you guys have a blessed day we'll see you on the next one god bless